Hi guys, it's Mosley Villain. Welcome to episode 6 of the New York Mets Challenge, and this is how we stand. You can see, looking at the league table here, it's not uh, not too bad, uh, but we're, we're hanging in there. Um, and if we have a look at how things are going, batting, you can see it's falling off a little bit. Ramos is our leader now, uh, batting just over 300. Uh, Keno and Nimmo are sort of next. But you can see when your third batting average is two, uh, 267, it's not really... It's not really good enough, is it? Alonso with 13 home runs is leading the way for us, as he is with RBIs. Uh, we still don't steal any bases. But where I think we are really, really good is in pitching. Look at these ERAs. I mean, look at Edwin Diaz. Half a run uh, ERA. It's absolutely sensational. 19 saves as well. Uh, DeGrom's doing quite well. You can see everybody's doing relatively well. I have bumped Harvey up in the rotation ahead of Matt's. Just he's been a little bit more reliable. Um, so we've been doing that. Um, but the big news since uh, last episode is that we've had our first year draft. It's very confusing. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so we have a first year player draft. I have no idea what this is or what is happening. So I'm sure you guys will find this amusing. Um, so when I'm reading this, I'm not sure if that means they get 1.5 million just because they signed for us. I don't really understand. Let's just continue the draft and see what happens here. Um, okay, so we it's not our pick. So we want to auto-draft... Can we auto draft until our turn? Uh, surely, surely you can do that. Uh, auto draft until next pick. There it is, right there in front of me. The one that's green and highlighted. Um, okay, let's look at potential. Oh, there's a lot of potential there. Um, all right, so what positions are we drafting for? I don't really know. Um, let's have a look here. We've got a right fielder. Sure. Um, let's go for names, maybe. Austin Bradbury. Uh, Andy Armstrong have ages there. We probably you want a younger player, wouldn't you? What does this little circle, this thing here mean? I don't know what that means. Um, I'd imagine you'd want to draft as younger as possible, wouldn't you? Would you not? Um, I wonder uh, if you. Uh, this is all going to be too late by the time uh, this goes out. Are you better off drafting field positions? Are they do they develop better, or are you better off drafting? Um, pitches that it's not much by way of pitches here do i have i have all players yes um i don't know i don't know what to do so let's scouting oh there it is going director recommendations he recommends austin bradbury so let's just go with him i guess good contact potential i think or oh, maybe not wow how bad is our scout um, okay, so let's maybe not go with the scouting recommendation. Um, oh, come on. Quick game's a good game. Um, Hunter Wolf. I mean, that's, that's a name, isn't it? That is a really good name. Can we, let's have a look at Hunter here. I don't know what to do. How can the scout say he's potentially a four and a half and this... OSA. I don't know what that is, but rating. How can that only be? How can that be such a big difference? That doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's just sign Hunter Wolf because that just sounds like an amazing name. Um, and then I don't know what to do here. Let's just go with what the scout says, and he's probably wrong. But I mean, that guy there to me looks like like a god. Oh wait, hang on, was that? Oh, wait, that's an OSA rating. Wait a minute. I don't, underst I don't understand this whatsoever. Um, so we're going to go with this guy because he looks good. Um, recommend. I don't know what all this means. This draft player. Deal with it later. Um, scout recommendation. Christopher Clark. Sure, I mean, he looks decent, doesn't he? He's a pitcher. Um, draft player. Let's go again. Um, scouting re director recommendation. We're going to have to sack this scouting director, I think, because there's such a big... I'm assuming this is the OSA is like a consensus among baseball people of what a player is. Um, so, sure, we'll draft him. Let's go next. Scouting director recommendation. Kendall Ewan. 
This guy is a... I don't know if I'm looking at positions. He's a left fielder. Uh, gap power. I don't... What is gap power? Is that like hitting opposite field or something, I wonder? I mean, it's it's they're completely opposite. I don't really understand or we'll draft him. I don't understand how they can be so different, I guess. I, Zane Collins, we've got a starting pitcher... I mean, he can he can he can bunt, which is important. You know, you runners on first and second, one out. You're gonna want you're gonna want this guy being able to sacrifice bunt, aren't you? All right, let's go again. Scouting director Xavier Carter. There's a name for you. First baseman. He can hit a home run. He can hit a home run according to both. So let's go with him. Not the best fielder going around, but let's do it. Next, scouting director recommendation. I wonder what this asterisk means. If you do know status information, oh, I didn't need to click on that. That was wrong. Oh, let's just go back to this. Uh, all right, Dawson, Dawson's Creek here, starting pitcher, head scout. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand how. I mean, these players should be rubbish quite compared to the other ones, but. Some of them look quite, you know, they look better than Hunter Wolf was. Though I do like the name Hunter Wolf. Third baseman, he's out of high school. Scout says he's amazing. OSA says he's rubbish. So we'll draft him. See what we get from that. Next, scouting director. How long does this go on for? How many rounds of draft are? There was like a thousand players, wasn't there? Uh, DJ Petrinsky. What's this guy? A catcher. Head scout says he's average. OSA says he's rubbish. Let's get that done. Um, so I'm assuming to do this, you would you would want a, a scouting director that is really good at picking up prospects or potential or whatever it is. Um, look at that. Okay, so contact absolutely rubbish according to OSA, according to our scout, really really, and power as well. So I wonder if this guy is good at. At, at picking up uh, batting and not pitching or vice versa. Oh, still over 500 players to go. Uh, can we just say F this and deal with it another time? Because really, are any of these guys ever going to be any good? Uh, and that's the big question here, isn't it? Now, you know, we've got a game to get to against the Yankees here. Um, hey, that guy looks quite good, actually. How is he still in the draft? I don't understand. Uh, so we'll get him. So we've still got 400 players to go. Oh, check. Here we go. I should have... Oh, hang on. Was there any Australians? What? Oh, there might have been some Australians in here. I didn't I didn't even dawn on me that there could be other countries. Well, we'll sign someone different just because he's someone different here. We could have the next Czech superstar. I don't know if there's been a Czech superstar. But Adam Jacks could just be the man. He'll change the game in... Uh, he changed the game in the Czech Republic. All right, let's have a look at nationalities here. Let's just start seeing if we can do other nationalities. What's that, Bahamas? I don't know what that is. A couple of Canadians. There's no Australians, though, so never mind. Uh, Jake Agnos, starting pitcher. Yep, sure. Draft next. Oh my god, this goes on for and on forever. Does this actually happen in real life? Does it go on for a thousand players? That would just be sit in front of the TV with a popcorn and some chicken wings and quite a bit of beer and coke and... Oh, I cannot imagine how long this would go on for. I'd be like, that. what's that card auction thing that used to be on in January or something? And they just auction off every car in America, I think. Uh, what do we got here? A starting pitch up. Sure. Jonathan Wilson. Let's go, son. Welcome to the Mets. Uh, Dylan Re R Risk? Resk. Resk. It's like desk with an R. Um, sure. Right fielder. Welcome to the Mets. Let's go again. Scouting director. Adam Torres. We have a center fielder out of high school. According to him, he can hit a home run. 
but not according to everybody else. Welcome to the Mets. And let's go again here. Scouting director recommendations. It's a left fielder. Decent contact hitter. See, he looks like a world... Actually, see... So how is this guy still in the still in the game if he's potentially so good at bat? I mean, I only look at batting, to be honest. I don't look at fielding. Um, I mean, how bad can you be, really, at fielding? I know it's like, I guess, whether you get to a ball or not, as opposed to what... But I don't know. I'd rather just see, you know, if you drop a catch, doesn't matter, just hit a home run, make up for it. I mean, this guy looks decent as well. I guess only decent. Maybe one for Syracuse, that guy. Um, all right, Hunter Taylor. Didn't we? No, that was Hunter Wolf, wasn't it? There we get two Hunters. We need a gatherer now, don't we? Um, sure. Welcome to the Matt Hunter. Oh, okay, high school player. I see with the asterisks. I've, I've discovered it for myself. Um, Wyatt Featherstone. I mean, this guy is just looking a little bit rubbish now, aren't they? All right, guys, you know what? Let's just uh, let's leave it here. I'll go through. It looks like we're just playing with the dregs now anyway, and we'll get uh, get back to the episode. Now, a quick update on all-star voting as well. We can see R Wilson Ramos is second for catches. Now, I'm not sure if it's just the highest one that goes to the all-star game, or if it's, it wouldn't be the top three, surely. Um, but there's got there's going to have to be some sort of, I don't know if your top two catches would go. Anyway, uh, we'll figure that out when, well, you already know. I'll figure it out when the game comes around. But Wilson Ramos is sitting second in voting. You're my boy, Blue. Peter Alonso isn't in the top three for first baseman. Absolutely outrageous, that is. Second base, well, uh, Robertson Cano is leading the way, so that's looking good for him. Third base, we don't have a representative there. Shortstop, we don't have a representative there. Left field, no such luck. Neither with center field or with right field. But pitching, this is where we shine, isn't it? DeGrom is top of the voting, so he will surely uh, get the honors for starting pitches. And as will Ed, Ed, uh, Edwin Diaz amongst relievers. Um, so it's looking right now as though we, I mean, we've got, what, one, two, three, four potential all-stars in the team, which isn't too bad. Uh, not too bad at all, if I don't say so myself. Now, if we have a quick look at the uh, schedule here, see how things have been going. Uh, go back to May, and we will see... Where do we leave off after the Dodger, uh, the Tigers, wasn't it? We played the Dodgers. It was a tight series. We split games with them, uh, sort of 2-2 two -two that series, uh, which was okay, but not the best. Then we played Arizona, and we got absolutely smashed. A really disappointing series against Arizona. Uh, then we played the Giants, won two of three there. This game right here was a complete game shutout for DeGrom, so really, really excellent stuff from him. Then we played Colorado. We got stuck with a doubleheader, but we won two or three in that series. And today we're playing the Yankees uh, at Yankee Stadium, and we've won the first game in this series 5-4 to four as well. Um, so that is a little bit special, isn't it? And we have a quick look at the standings here, just so we can see where we are. That's not the standings. That is the standings. Um, still third in our division. Three and a half games back of the Nationals now. Um, we, it's been, we've been patchy. We've been patchy. We were supposed to play 500 this year, and we've been doing even the last 10 games. We're doing that uh, in the All-Star and the All-Star. In the wild card standings, we're still sitting there two games behind uh, the Braves, but two and a half games ahead of the Phillies. So, I mean, it's not really... I mean, you can't be comfortable at this point anyway, but it's we're where we want to be, aren't we? Well, you'd certainly rather be there than anywhere else. And the only other thing to have a quick look at here is a transactions thing, because uh, what do I want to do here? Rosters, isn't it? and transaction log um we have lost somebody this is all the draft thing that draft was just an absolute nightmare oh there it is right down here this guy hack traveria i put him on waivers because i don't know i didn't like him pretty much i wanted to bring todd fraser back uh this guy wouldn't go down to the down to the triple a so we just waved him and he got picked up by colorado rockies so I don't know. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe it's not. The only thing I'm worried about with waving all these players that are pissing me off is that you know depth might become a problem at some point. But we just we just drafted all these young players. We'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. But anyway, let's have a look at the team we're sending out to face the Yankees. 
All right, so batting leadoff, it is Albert Almera. He is batting 257 this year, but he's better than that. Uh, Brendan Nimmo bats second. He's playing, oh, sorry, Almora is the designated hitter as well. Um, Brendan Nimmo is uh, batting second, playing right field. Robertson Cano bats number three, playing second base. PD, my boy, Blue Alonso, he bats clean up and plays first. Wilson Ramos is the catcher, bats five. Michael Conforto back fit and hitting home runs again, which is good to see. He plays in left field. Ahmed Rosario bats seven, plays short. Uh, Jeff uh, McNeil bats eight and is third baseman. Juan Larjas, he can catch. He's a good fielder. So he uh, bats number eight uh, and, uh, oh, sorry, bats number nine. He's essentially, the, he bats like a pitcher anyway, uh, but he plays center field. And Zach Wheeler, he takes the mound for us today. Oh, I was hoping that the bug would have been fixed. There was an update, uh, but it didn't quite fix it, apparently. So hopefully it'll still come back. Oh, I don't understand why it does this. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Obviously, we're batting first because we're at Yankee Stadium. Uh, the stench is just unbelievable. But uh, yeah, let's see how we do here. We've got Albert Amora at the plate, batting 257, three home runs, 17 RBIs. He hits, he swings, and we don't know what happens because we've still got a black screen, and it is a catch at center field, it looks like. All right, there we go. Welcome back, everybody. All right, it is Brendan Nimmo at the plate. I forget to check who we're facing. Um... But that looks like a simple ground out, doesn't it? And that is the second out of the game for us. Who are we facing? We're facing Domingo German. Um, as a European, uh, he's a 485 ERA. So there's probably runs there if we can if we bat well. That is a catch. Just for a second, I thought it might find the gap. But Robertson Cano flies out to left center. All right, Zachy Wheeler, we need it. We need an innings from you here, mate. He's pitching 383 this year. He's doing a really, really good job. Um, he was came to me in the, my personal message things. That is a catch, I think. I think it's going to get caught. Yeah. Um, saying that he he's a free agent at the end of this season. So he came to me and said he wants to extend his contract. I'm assuming that it's not like like soccer, um, where they can, other clubs can come in and poach them before like six months from the end of their contract. I'm pretty sure in baseball that doesn't happen. Um, so we'll wait and see exactly how he finishes up the year. But he's definitely been our third best pitcher this year. So I don't see much sense in not re-signing him at this point. Um, the one who's been a little bit... Oh, it's gotten through. The one who's been a little bit disappointing, honestly, is Mats. He's uh, he's either decent enough uh, or he's quite horrible. Um, that is... That looks deep. Get out of play. There we go. Just one of those that you just hold your breath for a second. But two runners left on, uh, and that is... That's fine, isn't it? All right, come on. You're my boy, Blue. Oh, he's hit that. He's hit that. No, it's not... Straight down center field's throat. It was lined out there. A bit of power on it, but not quite good enough. Wilson Ramos, potential MVP. Uh, not MVP. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Uh, all star, all -star. That's too many, too many American sayings. Which you guys are, I'm assuming a lot of people that are watching this are American. Um, I mean, it comes to you second nature. Is that going to drop? It is going to drop. Conforto with a single, two out single. Um, yeah, it's they're, they're, they're different sayings for me. Uh, so if I do misspeak, I do apologize. Is that going to get out of play? No, decent catch out there. We are hitting the ball though, aren't we? Which is, I mean, we've not, I mean, obviously hitting the ball, but we're, we're like, uh, like line drives, we're getting some solid, solid contact. That is strike three, first strikeout of the game for Zachy Wheeler. Uh, and we go again. That is through, is it? Yes, it is. That's all right. Runner on first, one out. We're just setting it up for this double play. That's all it is. Uh, who's at the DJ Lamo is at the plate now. Let's see what we can do here. That is a good throw, is it? Oh, a little bit. He's out. I think he's out. There we go. 11. He's caught now, Ramos. 11 from 40, 1 in 4. That seems low. I would imagine, as a catcher, you'd want 1 in 2, wouldn't you, at least? Um, although a lot of it comes off the pitcher, I guess. It's not necessarily always the catcher's fault. Uh, that... Okay, that one got through. That looked awfully like our third base and shortstop just went after you ball. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it. So two out, two on. Um, yeah, we could really do with getting this guy out. It's just the leadoff guy. He's decent enough, isn't he? That is going to be a catch, I think, out there for Nimmo. Down his throat and... 
Yeah, it was maybe a little bit of luck there in that innings. All right, it's Jeff McNeil at the plate. What's he going to do for us? Oh, he's hit that. He's hit that. He's crushed that. Get out. Get out. Hey! One now. Jeff McNeil shuts up the New York Yankee fans. What's that? Hey! It's all gone quiet in the stands. And that is one nil to the Mighty Mets. All right, that's what we like to see. All right, it's large ass at the plate. Our designated pitcher. And that's exactly what you'd expect him to do. All right, one out. We have Albert Amora back. He's good contact hitter. Come on, son. He's hit that right off the end of the bat, it looks like. And that's going to be two out. All right, who's at the plate? Who's batting second? Nimmo, isn't it? I keep looking over here to see uh, see where we are. Is that rain? Something's happening on the window there. And that is strike three. And that retires us, but not before the damage was done. Lead off home run by McNeil. All right, it is... Gwen Carlo Stanton at the plate. Let's see what we can do here. That is a sharpish play there, isn't it, for McNeil at third? I think that is rare. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Absolutely belting it down here in uh, in England right now. All right, Aaron Judge. Now, he's good because I've heard of him. Let's sit him down, please. Yeah, take a seat, mate. Take a seat. Judge, jury, and executioner there. You are done. All right, it is Gary Sanchez at the plate now, batting 239. Go on, wheels. He's hit that. That's going to get in, is it? Oh, it's a good catch, is it? It is a good catch. Large ass. That's what he does. He can't bat, but he can catch. All right, speaking of batting, it's Robinson Cano. He was on a really hot streak, but he has dropped off just a touch. He's hit that hard, but that is... Oh, it's fallen in. Gets in. Lead off double for Cano. All right, let's, let's get a bit of a rally going here. It's my boy Blue up next, so it should be, I think. Is it... Is it... Where are we up here? Wrong side. All right, come on, Petey. Oh, come on, come on. Next up, it is, is it Ramos? It is Ramos. Come on. Oh, he's hit that. Is that going to get out? Is that going to get out? No, it's... Oh, we can't even tag. The wind must be blowing in from left field because that's two now, I thought, we're going. Um, all right, with two out, it's Conforto. Now, he has, as I said, hit a little bit of form lately. A couple of home runs. That's a pass ball. That puts us on third. Doesn't really change. I mean, I don't. I think Cano's pretty slow, isn't he? Because he's about 97 years old. But it doesn't change too much. We still need a base hit. Go on, Conforto. Oh, he smacked that. He smacked that. That is out of here. Ho-ho! Conforto! 3-0 to the Mighty Mets. Hey! Hey! It's all gone quiet over there. And that is what we like to see. All right. It is... Ahmed Rosario, he's a good contact hitter, but, oh, he's got that one through. Is he going for second? No, that would have been ambitious, wouldn't it? All right, who have we got up now? Jeff McNeil, can he put another one over the fence? Go on, Mackie. That is going to drop in, I think, is it? No, oh, no, it's popped up more. Well, again, we've done some damage. Two runs that innings, another home run for Conforto, and this is what we like. All right, Zachy Wheeler, how's he going here? He's... Two strikeouts. We'd like a few more of those if we can. That's inside, and it's through again. Our shortstop and third baseman do realize they're supposed to stop the ball, right? Not completely sure there, as the rain comes belting down a little bit more. Okay, they just... This isn't great. It's going to be a good throw to get him from there. And... Oh, he's out! That is a good throw! What a throw from Nimmo! Absolutely world-class, sensational baseball there. Alright, one out, runner on first. That actually really helps, because if it had been... Oh, I think he's crushed that, has he? That's gotten in. Is he going to score the runner? He's going for home, he's going for third. Alright, that shut me up just a little bit. It's a triple. And oh, one out... All right, Zach, we could really use a strikeout here, couldn't we? We really, really could. Oh, asking you shall receive. Take a seat, son. That helps us a lot. All right, let's get this guy out, and let's go back and lick our wounds. Oh, just outside. Come on. All right, it is Jacob Ellsbury. Now, he he's the leadoff guy, isn't he? He's, in, he's cold. He's frozen stiff. So let's hope that continues here. Always oh, hit that, but I think that should be easy enough for large ass, and it is. All right, 
a little bit of damage done, but in the end, I th we can we can handle that, can't we? All right, go on, large ass. Our designated pitcher at the plate. Just a little grubber back up the middle, and that is one out. Can you guys hear that rain? That is unbelievable. Uh, all right, it is Albert Amora at the plate. Go on, Albert. Back up the middle, and it's gotten through. So there we go. That is a one-out single. Runner on first. That brings, of course, Nimmo to the plate. What can he do? He's 0 for 2 today. We could really, really use a base hit here. It's down the first base line. Oh, it's a double play ball. I mean, he hit it pretty well, didn't he? But maybe just a little bit unlucky. On another day, on another day, that could have been down the right field line. Uh, and almost would have scored a runner. Alright, so we have Guancarlo at the plate. Go on, Zaki Wheels. On your wheels, son. That's another strikeout. This is getting much, much better now, isn't it? We're getting some outs here. That should be easy. It's gone through again. But these guys, we're going to have to teach them, that you know, how to field a ground ball. Alright, that's one out, runner on. It's... Who was at the plate? Sanchez. He's on a hot streak, as is the last guy, that Aaron Judge character. That looks... That looks... It's high. It's high. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. There it is. And we keep the runner on first as well, so that's quite good, actually. Two out. All right, Zach, let's get us out of this innings, please. That should be easy, but with our shortstop, you just never know. But there it is. That's the three outs. And at the bottom of the fifth, we are 3-1 up. Looking to can you sweep the uh, get series a two game series? I guess you can. It's not quite what you have in mind, is it? But we'll take two wins over the Yankees now. Cano's hit that, but it's just popped up a little bit, and that is our first out. Uh, they're still going with Jermaine at the, with, uh, at the pitching thing. It's my boy Petey Alonso. Go on, Blue. He's hit that. It's popped up though again, isn't it? We are hitting this pitcher, which is promising. We're just not. I mean, I know there's pitchers that sort of, that their, their whole strategy is to get fly balls, but we're not getting struck out. Is, that gonna, is he going to beat that? No. Certainly took his time at second there, didn't he? Um, but we, I feel like we're getting hits, and that's a good thing. Just see Zach Wheeler just starting to get into that yellow zone. He should have another couple of innings. If we can get this one out of him. As I said, our bullpen's been really, really good. Um... Which is exactly what I wanted when you know when we were uh, doing the trades and signing the players we did at the start. I did want to, if we get in front, just to just be lights out, and we've essentially been doing that, which is which is good. That's two out now. Let's finish this innings, get us into the seventh, and then our bullpen can come in if we need it to. There we go. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. As Yankee Stadium falls silent. All right, Conforto to the plate. Now, he's batting okay. He's two for two today with two RBIs. Thanks to that home run last at bat, of course. That looks like it's off the handle, and that is out. Unfortunate there, perhaps. That brings to the plate Ahmed Rosario. Now, he's one for two today. He was on a hot streak not that long ago, but it's sort of faded back, and he's crushed that straight down center field's throat. Uh, and that brings to the plate McNeil, one for two, with his home run, of course, as well, that got us underway today. That's off the end of the bat, and that is the third out. Okay. Time to stretch, and Zach Wheeler comes back to the mound up against uh, Tawinski. He's one for one today. We must have walked him at some point. Go on, Zach. Oh, he's hit him. Hit him right in the middle of the back, that looked like. Not great, none out, runner on first. That gives them the chance to move this guy around, doesn't it? That should be a double play ball, is it? We've got one, do we get second? No, we don't. Well, we've got the lead runner, that's okay. Double play now, and we can get out of this. We've gone for some sort of shift for Stanton. Do we get? We don't get a double play ball. It, hopefully that's going to stay in the stadium. I think it is. Large ass is under it. And that is a catch. And we keep him on first as well. So as long as this uh, stays in the park, the runner from first is unlikely to score. It's Aaron Judge. Now he is. He's quite good, isn't he? He could put this out of the stadium. Oh, he struck him out. Get in. Zach Wheeler. He has been... Re maybe has he just earned the contract right here live on the channel? Perhaps he has. Perhaps he has. All right. They've changed their pitcher. They now have a guy... 
ERA of five. Absolute rubbish. Go on, large ass. Our designated pitcher at the plate. What can he do? He's over two, but you'd expect nothing less. Over three. There we go. Um, he did take a good catch, so I think playing him has been worth it. Almora. Okay, this guy. I thought he'd see. ARA was rubbish. How is this guy just striking us out like we're not even there? It's Brendan Nimmo. And there we go. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? Hope we all enjoyed that experience, everybody. Uh, all right. Oh, familiar. Now, this guy has been the definition of hot and cold. ERA of just under three. But he does he does blow a lot of leads. That's what we like to see. That's more like it. He's either, like, just lights out or he you know, he does two or three runs in the innings. That could be in the gap. Is it? Large ass is there and takes a decent catch, actually. That looked like it might have uh, fallen for a second there. All right, it's Luke Voigt up against Familiar. Let's get ourselves out of this innings. That should be easy for Cano, and it is. There we go. We enter the ninth. 3-1 up against the Yankees. Two home runs this game, which is nice as well. Let's see if we can add to that, though. Robinson Cano. What has he got for us? A strikeout. Is this the same guy? He struck four guys out in the road. No, is it the same guy? It is the same guy. This is unbelievable. All right, Petey, let's just not strike out. Just hit the thing. Jesus. What is... Can we sign this guy? Who is he? Is this guy good? I mean, he looks decent enough, I guess. All right, Wilson. Just hit the ball, please. Just don't strike out. That's all I'm asking. Wow, wow, wow. This guy, that that's credit to him. Six up, six strikeouts. That's impressive. All right, familiar. Three outs away. Oh, this is what he does. This is what he does. He throws away leads. A leadoff single. And tying run comes to the plate. All right, come on, familiar. There we go. That's better. That's better. Nice strikeout there. One out. A double play now does it for us. It's Troy the pole at the at the plate that is a double play is it yeah two from two from the yankees and that is how we win a game of baseball everybody so there we go zach wheeler improves his record to five and one familiar takes his second save of the year and we just close that gap a little bit to the washington nationals so it's all looking okay let's look no, try that again. it's all looking okay right now isn't it um win so that is he doesn't he's not Five and one is not quite uh, there yet. Where is his record here? There we go. Five and one. Do we put him to second in the rotation and had a cinder guy? I mean, probably not, but he's certainly pitching quite well right now. And as you can see, Matt's is the one that's just letting us down a little bit there. But anyway, guys, that is it uh, for today. We will be back. Um, so we've got a big series against Atlanta here. So I think, is that the, is it a three game or four game series? It's a three game series. So we'll come back for the final game of that three game Atlanta series. That'll be for Wednesday. No, that'll be for Friday. Uh, hopefully we'll start the weekend off with a good solid win. We've got some big games coming up here, don't we? Three games against Atlanta, four against the Phillies. It's a big, big uh, upcoming schedule. But that's it for today, though, guys. As I said, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Uh, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please do subscribe and ring the bell so you don't upload new episodes. Uh, it is predominantly Football Manager, but Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, we do play a little bit of baseball, uh, as you've just seen. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think of the draft. I've probably drafted horrible players, but I'll learn that for next year. But until uh, Friday, guys, open Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.